This video will describe West's recommendations for the incoming acceptance for NovaPure components. This process begins before the product leaves a West facility. The NovaPure products and packaging are designed to ensure timely receipt, QC acceptance, and uninterrupted use on the manufacturing line. Upon receipt of a shipment, you should follow your internal procedures to ensure acceptance and use of the stoppers or plungers. This video is intended to complement your process. At incoming inspection, you should make sure the shipment has been delivered without damage that compromises product integrity. Make sure you have an envelope addressed to incoming QC attached to every delivery. This envelope contains the incoming documents, including the quality certificate for the batches shipped. Make sure all cartons are intact and are labeled. Each label should include the following. The West product number. Description. Quantity. West batch number. And use by date specific for the ready to use products. If you find any discrepancies or damage, you should immediately contact West for assistance. To proceed with incoming inspection, the inspector should locate cartons identified as tailgates. Tailgates are a representative sample of each batch in the shipment that are pulled and separately packed with the shipment for your inspection and testing purposes. The number of the tailgate samples is determined by the number of pieces in the batch using the ISO 2859 or American National Standard sampling procedures and tables for inspection by attributes or ANSI ASQ Z1.4 General Inspection Level 2 Normal Inspection. West recommends performing the inspection in a clean environment taking appropriate precautions to avoid risk of contamination to the samples. Proper aseptic techniques are to be followed. We will focus on the inspector and the inspection area, opening and transferring of the stoppers or plungers, subsampling, and finally, the inspection for approved release. The inspector should be properly gowned and the inspection area must be clean from debris that can potentially contaminate the components. The inspector wears appropriate personal protective equipment. The inspector uses commercially available lint-free alcohol wipes to clean the laminar hood in preparation of the inspection process. Ensure the area is clear of all previously inspected items and batches. The area is cleaned prior to beginning inspection to assure there is no cross-contamination of foreign matter. The NovaPure components have been validated for the various products in the specific package configuration. For the ready-to-sterilize items, the components are packaged in a double sterilizable bag configuration. The sterilized, ready-to-use product that will be seen here has three layers of packaging. That packaging includes the carton, a poly bag carton liner, and the vacuum heat-sealed tertiary bag that is either polyethylene or a moisture barrier bag for Lyo stoppers. Inside the tertiary bag is a double sterilizable bag. The primary steri bag containing the product is oriented 90 degrees inside the second steri bag for ease of transfer and reduced risk of cutting the primary bag during opening. Look at the West packaging tape used to secure the carton prior to shipment from West for evidence of tampering. Use a clean scalpel or cutter to open the carton. Take care to prevent injury and damage to the components. Cut the West packaging tape and open all four sides of the carton. The liner can be folded over the flaps to assist with keeping the carton open. This helps to ensure the least amount of manipulation during removal of the double steribag and polybag units. 
It also helps reduce any residual particulate on the carton and outside of the carton liner from being transferred to the packaging units inside. Remove the tertiary bag of product from the carton and place it on a clean surface. Wipe the outer surface in the same direction with overlapping strokes using lint-free alcohol wipes. Cut the tertiary bag along the side. Lift out the secondary bag containing the product from the tertiary bag and place it in the inspection area. Product received in the moisture barrier bag can be opened by locating the notch on the side and tearing open the bag. Repeat the wiping of the secondary bag in the same direction with overlapping strokes using lint-free alcohol wipes. Place the bag flat with the Tyvek side down and cut the bag with a scalpel. Lift out the primary bag containing the product and place it in the inspection area. Again, wipe the outer surface in the same direction with overlapping strokes using lint-free alcohol wipes. Cut the HDPE side of the sterilizable bag in an H or X shape with a scalpel. Put on a clean pair of gloves before beginning the next step of subsampling for visual inspection or other additional release testing per your internal procedures. It is important to know the number of samples that will be removed from the bag, the vessel they will be placed in, and the sequence of removing the components so you do not contribute to unintentional contamination. Use clean forceps to remove the stopper or plunger. We recommend the following sequence. The first components taken should be for the endotoxin testing if applicable. These should be placed in a depyrogenated jar. The second sample should be for particulate testing. Place them in a cleaned particle-free jar or bag that will reduce the risk of contamination incurred during the transfer of product. If applicable, the moisture sample set should be removed and placed in a clean particle-free jar with a tight lid to prevent permeation of moisture prior to testing. Finally, select stoppers or plungers for visual attributes. West Quality Assurance can assist you with guidance on developing a certification program. In support of receiving West Nova Pure components as a certified product, we recommend a coordinated effort to ascertain compliance of the product to the specification. We can aid you in methodology and testing expertise as well. If a certification program has not been established, we advise that at a minimum you understand the West release testing and methodology. This will help prevent a misalignment in acceptance criteria, definition of defects, or testing errors. The number of samples taken from the batch for visual attributes is defined by ANSI Z1.4 for dimensional and quality attributes. For attributes, it is defined in the General Inspection Level 2 normal sample. For dimensional, the population is defined as S4. The inspection criteria for West is as follows. A qualified inspector with visual acuity should use proper lighting. Observations are made from approximately 18 inches with the naked eye. Place a number of items on a cleaned, shallow tray. Stoppers or plungers should be oriented in the same direction. Rotate the tray 360 degrees, looking at all sides of the component. In the event of a question, the inspector may use magnification to help discern the issue. Magnification is not used by West for the initial examination. 
set any part aside on a second clean tray for documentation of the observed attribute. We recommend all paperwork be kept in the designated area outside of the laminar hood. Flip the stoppers or plungers over and repeat the inspection on the other side. West advises that you use the inspection population samples for dimensional testing. Collect the correct amount of stoppers for testing. For the dimensional attributes, West does not recommend using calipers, rulers, overlays, or pin gauges, as these lack the precision, reliability, and repeatability for accurate measurement. West recommends measuring a dimension that is dependent on West's manufacturing process. Examples include overall height or flange thickness as opposed to a steel-safe dimension that is not impacted by the manufacturing process. Dimensions such as flange outer diameter or plug outer diameter are considered steel-safe. For the NovaPure items, West uses a touchless automated measurement system for taking dimensions of the part. Using an automated system assures accuracy in the measurements by reducing operator error with many other measuring devices. The system allows for maximum throughput and short cycle times when capturing the identified dimensions of the complex stopper or plunger configuration.